up there. I got the original <laughs> flag raising. It was only a few guys. I got guys from the third, guys from the fourth, and guys wow. from the fifth. And I wow. took them to That's what my one of, was talking about. When I went to one of my reunions. Yep. In uh, just outside of Syracuse. And I took that picture out, and the guys were selling everything. <laughs> and they saw that picture. It stopped selling everything. They grabbed that picture, and they took it down, and they had it, they had, it. They had it made a, a, oh, you should see me here. Copies? Oh, I ain't got pictures there. When I took it out and showed it to the Marines down in Washington, D.C., they did the same thing. Everybody's got their little, whatever, their yeah. little yeah. camera. They <laughs> become, hey, you mind, you yeah. mind, you mind. My yeah. father, my uncle, this and that yeah. boy. <clears throat> yeah, they went I would crazy. Like, I would like to see that sometime, if you don't mind. Uh, I was there eight days after the first flag was put up. Okay. I, the only reason I was up on top there is because I had to bring up some uh, what they call composition soup. Composition C2. Okay. They were still blowing, that's some days later, still blowing chaps out of the caves. Out of the caves, right. Yeah, that's when we were at Don Le Right. We were on Liberty all the time. Matter of fact, I, I think I got a bunch of, a picture of those guys all sitting together. Yeah, well that you saw really that, right? Where you, over your head, it says uh, Atlas, and over Dad's head it said Muscles. <laughs> yeah. Well, they used to call me Little Atlas. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, like I said, I was built like a bull, and you know, they oh, used to yeah. do the fighting and all that there, yeah. and then the, the guy, that guy Joe Lucardo. Oh, you got a picture of that too. Yeah. But I can only tell you, you know. Yeah, I'm surprised you got that picture. You see, I was the only guy, not, you couldn't have a camera. Yeah. If you notice, we were back there behind the barracks, yeah. there yeah. taking that picture. I, they were on the, I told you, they were at a section where you, you were out in the open, the Japs were in the ground. Yeah, that's what he said. And the airplanes were just the un, ahead of the airfield. And I'm telling you, they had a hell of a time. We were almost, well, we got around, there was another island on the other side of Iwo. But they only send out a couple of, couple of what do you call them? Yeah, Higgins. Yeah, the Higgins yeah. boats. The Higgins, yep. Yeah, well, they got so slammed up against the shore that they, nothing can come to shore in the second or third day. And they said, when, I, when, I, when they pushed us off the airfield there, when I came down, I jumped in with these guys. <laughs> they were all dead guys that they drugged down the, <laughs> the takeaway. There used to be a, there was a, a 16 millimeter hauser up there, captured Japanese binoculars. It's got to be right out. It must have been right after this, or they're blocking it all up because the flying I was up there. The flag was just over to the side, and they had the hauser. They were still shooting up at the other end of the island where you, uh, you know, the third and the fourth were. And yeah. We hadn't we hadn't reached all the way up the end there. And now I know where that um, that picture I have to give to uh, this Frank. One you want, you that want that keep goes it out? to Frank. Yeah, leave it out. I gotta give that to Frank Marola. You know Frank Marola. Okay. Uh, Marola. 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 He's uh, had he, had, had he's had a motor vehicle. vehicle in Rensselaer County. Oh no no I don't. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't, I'm sure you know, County. Everybody knows Frank. I'm sure Well, County. he's from another county. I'm from Troy. He's but from I don't know my Where are you from? He's uh, he's up in Clifton Park yeah, area. Oh okay. Yeah. Right. And when they made that movie, The Sands of Iwo Jima, there they had us in the Proctor's Theater. More people saw me there, and you could say every time they saw me, hey, Carl, we saw you at Proctor's Theater. We oh, saw yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you came home on a ship, you were wounded though, right? Yeah, they took me to Guam. They took me to Guam. Okay. It was, uh, the heck was the name of it? It was a hospital ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where the heck was it? I was in Aida. Not Aida Heist. That was Hawaii. See, I even got pictures of meeting two friends of mine in Aida Heights in, in the Hawaiian Islands. Oh, yeah? I was in the hospital there a few weeks. It's just like I was in Washington, Washington D.C. with my wife on my honeymoon, and somebody else called me that. And I looked at him. Who do you think it was? Ira Ames. 
Wow. What? Wow. Ira yeah. Hayes. Ira Hayes, yeah. Wow. You knew him personally? No. But he knew you? But he knew you. He knew him from the fight. Oh, from the box. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won him some money. Mm -hmm. Or lost him some money, I don't know. <laughs> nah, uh, when, I, when I left him, he was happy as a lark. Yeah. Yeah, poor what guy. he was doing in Washington, D.C. was trying to get some help there where he comes from in Arizona. Yep. Uh, he was trying to get help uh, from the governor. You know, they told him, you better go back to Arizona, the war is over. Yes. So he got to talk to me and he was happy as a lark because he said, gee, I can't wait to get back. I took, I got a job with, with uh, Dean Martin. He said, then, uh, <laughs> yeah. I talked to him, he said he had to, you know, get home. He was working on a farm someplace. Yes. Then I, you know, I went to one of my reunions. One of the guys who was at the reunion, matter of fact, I think it was the same time that I took the picture out of the flag race. You know, when I had New York went crazy. <laughs> and uh, I was talking to this one guy, he says, you know, uh, I happened to mention about, you know, seeing him in Washington, he said, oh, geez, he said, didn't you know he died? I said, no, I didn't hear anything about it. Yeah, he says, uh, well, I heard he had died prior to this guy talking to me. He says, yeah, he says, he was, you know, he was always drunk, you know. The war didn't, he didn't go over happy because they made such a hero out of him. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Yeah, Ira Hayes. Got, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, yep. they're got their own ways. So anyway, he got drunk and he fell in the curb and it was raining and he drowned in the water in the curb. 